Hey guys, it's Stone W, and I'm going to do a quick review as well as unboxing of this Oyster Air Fryer countertop toaster oven with French doors and stainless steel, which is nice. Now, why did I get this? I got this because I want to cook more than just, you know, half a pizza in my air fryer. So this guy could cook a full size pizza. In fact, it could cook two, you know, full size frozen pizzas, which makes it super convenient, especially when you have a family you want to feed and you don't want to cook twice the time. So basically it takes roughly around 20 minutes to make that pizza and you know, even with two pizzas in there, it's pretty quick. Another reason why I bought this, and here's the unboxing of course, is because it goes to a higher temperature than my air fryer. My current air fryer, which I love for tater tots and everything, is good for, um, it only goes up to 400 degrees. This goes up to 450 and could do other things. You could do, you know, it could broil stuff, you could do other, you know, oven things you could do with, which I don't have a full size oven. So this is perfect because it's a countertop oven. Has French doors, which is nice because it's a single pull. You can pull on one side, it opens both. Inside, super clean, super huge volume here. You can cook a lot of big items here. And it should preheat pretty quick. It actually preheats very, very quick for um, for these ovens. And I do have a smaller toast oven that I can make like um, smaller items, but this is much bigger than that. The volume of this is huge. In fact, the overall size you keep, stay, you know, just make sure you, you're, you have the depth right because it's about 19 inches deep. So this is a pretty large um, oven, a countertop oven. But it's also a convection oven because it blows hot air all around the thing, making cooking much faster. So it's just really cool. Very simple controls. I mean, there's a pizza button and there's like other convection uh, turbo buttons to just basically set the time and, and do it. As you can see, 450 degrees for uh, the stuff. And, you know, it takes about 20 minutes, 25 minutes for most of the stuff I cook, like basically tater tots and stuff. But quite possibly, this is probably good to cook pizza. In fact, it's going to cook two pizzas at once, and that's why I bought it. I do have the microwave. I do still have my air fryer. Because if I'm doing tater tots, I really don't want to deal with this using a tater tots. I already just you know grab the whole tray and just and and just um, toss it in the tray. This is more for pizzas and larger items that I can't fit in a, in an air fryer and that could cook more stuff for my entire family. So I could probably using um, so I could use both at the same time to be honest. But yeah, air fryer tray that's the one. And there's that uh, pan tray. So it actually holds the pan on the bottom of it. So you, let's say there's drippings and stuff. You actually put it on the bottom. They actually ask you to, when you're baking, to use that pan too, that upper, that um, the solid pan. So it actually, I guess, keep the air on top. I, I have no idea. I plan to probably start baking with this because it does go up to like 425, 450. You actually bake, you can actually bake things with this other than my air fryer really can't. So yeah, this would be pretty useful for a lot of other stuff that I can't air fry. I could use this oven now. Um, of course, it uses electricity, so it doesn't really matter. You know, either way, I'm using electricity anyways. But yeah, different configuration to set the pan. There's a full instruction set in that in the booklet. But overall, I do like the fact that it has five different things. And most possibly, I'm just using it to cook pizza like this. As you can see, it's blowing hot air on top of it. So it's going to probably cook it much faster. It takes around 20 minutes to do two pizzas, by the way. And that's super efficient because you're doing two pizzas and that's just a part of it, like in my other air fryer. Anyways, guys, it's Stone W. I hope this review was helpful to you, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.